Welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get started because the app was not working. It just took me like 30 minutes to get it working. But before we get started, as always, we need to check this out on another um, device. But I can't use my phone because we need my phone this time. So, hi, y'all, y'all. I'm going to put it on my computer. Let's see. So here we are. Okay, now what we are doing today is we're trying to lotion again. <laughs> um, so here we go. We have a couple of stuff to open up. So first we're gonna open that up and we're just gonna see how much we can do before I need to do something else. Um, but yes, this is what it looked like last time. And I really didn't use it that much because for this one, I could not blend the... Hey, Kyara, how are you? Are you guys out of school yet? Like, for the summer? I didn't use that because I felt like it was too much shea butter and I really wanted it to mix with the water. And so I figured out what I have to do. So I bought all this stuff. Not all this stuff, but some stuff. I have to find some scissors here. Which... I broke my other suits the other day. So, my good old suits that I've had for years. So, I do some more research and figure out exactly what do I need to make the water mix with the butter. And I've come to the conclusion that I need an emulsifier, which, if you remember in the other videos, I was saying I wasn't sure if I needed it, but um, I do need it. Oh, yes, June 2nd, that's lovely. June 2nd, that's so nice. All right, so this is, we're not even going to try to say it, okay? But I got some, a lot of great, great tips from Whole Elise, I think her name is. And she has a YouTube channel. I just found her when I was searching up what to do. But this is supposed to be a preservative so that uh, the lotion we make will actually last. So I got that, and I got a scale so I could be precise on what I'm doing. So I'm going to use one of Whole Elise's, um, what is it called? Whole Elise's, <laughs> I don't think it's really called recipe, but <laughs> whatever her thing is to tell me exactly how to make it. I'm going to modify it a little bit, but... I needed a scale to see if I was on the right thing. So I got the scale to try that out. And then what else did I get? And then since I'm actually blending the, um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, the water with the butter this time. Hopefully it will give me a more lotion-y texture. So, looks like it keeps getting, every time I come over here, the camera gets super dark. That's what it looks like. So, I think this is just, oh, okay, just a couple of things. So, I bought some more glycerin, even though I have some, but I bought some more, just to buy some more to be safe, because I wasn't sure if glycerin goes bad. It doesn't go bad, so I should not need any more glycerin. And... And I have some emulsifying wax, which is what is supposed to allow me to have the lotion-y texture and mix the, excuse me, what am I missing? Mixing the water with the butter. And I got some of these to, if it all works out well and it has a more lotion-y texture, then we could put the, um, I can't think straight so uh, we could put it in here so let's take these out if I can take them out 
The tops are not on, so they're about to fall. that to try and these probably honestly need to be sterilized and all that fun stuff I am just going to put a little bit of alcohol in it and some water shake it up and then rinse it out and hopefully that will help with it I can't tell if it's strong enough to let me boil it so I'm not going to try that I'm scared I'm just gonna shake this up. Hi, Sister Caroline. So, Kyara, if you're still on, if you guys got out June 2nd, when do you all have to go back? Because June 2nd is kind of early, but if you live in Philly, I know, I think Philly, well, Philly usually gets out earlier than Jersey. and stuff so sometimes it's like the other stuff on it all right now let us uh, I think set up the scale is what we should do now so we can get our measurements together do um mango butter this time instead of the coconut I mean the shea butter of course I never use coconut but these bottles sit over here for a little bit and then we can try the scale which I hope the scale has batteries it says it does but I hope it does and if not I just bought some batteries so hopefully we'll be okay with that Everybody's scale is this small, but this scale is extremely small. Everybody kept saying pocket size. Remove the tray. This is the tray it came with that I guess you're supposed to put stuff on. This is the actual little scale. And these are the batteries, so. I 
ahead and put these batteries in here. Because we had no snow. Oh, yeah. That's true. We didn't have no snow. Did we have snow at all? I don't think we had snow at all. I feel like. Okay. Well, hopefully you have plenty of rest. I mean, plenty of a time but considering you got out early because of not having snow days then it should still be it should be extra time then i don't know why this thing is running through numbers we didn't do anything so man. what is it measuring air guys we didn't do anything <laughs> This is not funny. This is not funny. I already had to deal with this app that was not letting me do any. It wasn't letting me put a tight on every time I tried. It was um not working no more. So I couldn't even do a, my description. I don't think it's on a video or anything. Um, now it says hello. Okay. Still running through grams. I don't know what that is all about. But, um, yep. Just real quick because blah, 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 blah. show hello and then should be showing glero and then you can use it okay now it's on show zero i don't know what that was all about every time i pick it up it starts doing stuff so maybe it just has to be flat i don't know if anybody's ever used it. yeah measuring the air i don't know what it's i don't know if anybody's used these before but apparently i guess that i'm picking it up but when it's flat in my hand and it says zero all right and conversions, blah, blah, blah. That's all I got. So I'm gonna put this to the side. There is another tray, so it came with two trays, so that's nice, and I don't know if I'm using any of these trays today. But I'm just gonna put this to the side so it can stop measuring the air. And then I'm gonna pull up on my phone the little recipe that we're using, and then we can start measuring out all the stuff and putting it to the side. Still playing around with my lotion and alcohol that I am half sanitizing. So I rinse it out with water. Let me just rinse it one more time. temperature but I don't really have like beakers oh that's what I could have bought maybe next time let's see how this goes but we need like beakers to do the double boiler method and be able to put two beakers in one pot because right now I'm using a little bowl thing so you can't fit two all right so according to my little recipe here oh, we need distilled water which I didn't mean to keep it in the refrigerator because my refrigerator is so cold, it freezes everything. All right, so we need the distilled water, which is over there. Aloe vera is calling for it, but I'm not too sure about putting aloe vera on my skin, so I'm not trying that. And we need the glycerin, which I have here. And I also have this one here, which I don't know if I'm going to use the new one or the older one. 
and we need the butter which she's doing it um i think her name again is holy Lee. she's doing hers with shea butter i'm trying mango butter today <laughs> i need to start with my shenanigans <laughs> I tried to do a patch test with mango butter, and it didn't seem like anything was bothering me, so we'll see. Let's just pray. We got to pray. Um, emulsifying wax to blend it all together. And then she's using the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid gel, but again, I'm not sure about that, but it's supposed to be like really good as far as moisturizing and all that stuff she's also going to put in green tea extract but we're not trying that because again can't play that game right now and the preservative which is this one which i hope it's okay now the lotion that i usually use is this one and i also used to use a shea butter from i don't know if it was swap no saint ives i think now, I used to like switch up and use this one in the winter and then the shea butter one in the summer because it was lighter. And I think now I want to, I need to switch up, but I can't find the Say Ives one to switch up. So hopefully this one will work out. And it's supposed to be a formula that we're using today that's non, I don't know the word, it's like comedonic, something like that. But obviously it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. So let's see how that works out. Um, first things first, we need 206. Now, 216 grams of distilled water. I have no idea what that means, so let's look up and convert grams to cups. See how that works out? I need to find our calculator real quick. Um, 216. Hmm. says three quarters of a cup all right so let me just double check this in case that's not right So it's about a cup, about a cup, I think, a little less than a cup. All right, so what are we going to put the water in? I don't know. The water has to go mixed with something. So for now, I have no idea what we should put the water in. Just a bowl, just a cup. I'm gonna try this maybe, and depend on how much it is. Well, it's only about a cup, so let's see. some water so I'm gonna put some water in here to boil a little bit because I know we're gonna need that soon I'm just gonna put on like some medium heat okay why did you guys freeze the water half a cup. 
And I said about three thirds, but it's basically a whole cup. So I'm just gonna fill up most of this half a cup again. I cannot find my cup, my cup, cup, you know? But when it's a whole cup, how do you lose something like that? I have no idea, but I can't find it. I only have my half a cup. All right, so that's our water. Which is on like barely half the bowl. Now what else do we need? Um, three grams of aloe, but we're not doing that. So six grams of glycerin. So I'm gonna get our little thing here that measures the air. I'm gonna use this little small thing. Let me bring you a little closer here. Cause you actually might need to start coming down anyway. So I'm gonna give us some light. I'm gonna turn on this light too. Or did we turn that light off last time and it helped? I can't remember. And just a napkin real quick. Okay, let's build my frozen water. All right, so we need six grams of glycerin. Now here's the thing, right? If I'm not using aloe, should I use like there's supposed to be three grams of aloe concentrate in there and six grams of glycerin, but I'm not using aloe. So should I do more glycerin or should I just, you know, just ignore the whole thing? Like, what do you guys think? Should I make it nine grams of glycerin instead of just the six because I'm not using aloe? Or should I just ignore the fact that we're not using aloe and keep it at six? Let me know because I don't know. Um, but here we go. We have this. I'm going to turn it on. It says hello, thanks. And you see how many grams is this? 152. Can you all see it? Barely. Well, that's 152. And I need to have six. So we need to get it to 158.4. Where is the glycerin? Keep it at six. You might be right. Can I do seven? All right, let's get this out. Ooh. Ciao. Well, <clears throat> if I'm going by this, then that's plenty. So I'm just going to put that up to the side. And then let's see. Shea butter, or in our case, mango butter, should be 30 grams. Um, 30 grams. Um, so let me get, um, hmm. I think I want to use the thing that came with this, so let me wash this out real quick. I think it will be easier to tell how much is 30 grams if I use something lighter than the glass containers. And paper towels again, right? of shea butter. And this is already 30, 38 ish. Grams. This is 33. What are we doing? Oh, this. This little stuff. If this works out, I would have to buy completely different utensils 
for the stuff that I need so that I'm not using whatever I could find. All right, 30 grams, right? We're at 33 already. So we're trying to get this thing to 63. That's 39. That's 44. Try to be real careful because that glycerin was just coming out with his little self. That's 49. Still have a bit to go, so. 53, almost, almost there. Fifty-eight. So just a little bit left to get to sixty-three. Sixty. <laughs> okay. Come on, little buddies. Sixty-two. Trying to get closer to 64 actually, so how much is that? 64. That was a bit much, so let's see. Okay. Good enough. This says 64, so it's like a little over 30. But that's the shea butter we have. I mean, mango butter for today. Hope it works out. I'm gonna keep this over here though. All right, we have the water, the glycerin. Now we need emulsifying wax and we need 24 grams. Emulsifying wax, 24 grams. I'm going to use, the, well actually, wait a minute. That's not a tray, that's just the top. So I won't use that. Mm -hmm. We've got another little container here that's not so little. You know why this poor thing is saying point three? Mm -mm -mm. This thing ain't measuring nothing. Well, it's at point three, whatever that means. Now it's at, you know, 272. Point four. And then how much do we need? 24. So here's our emulsifying wax. Supposed to be some kind of conditioning emulsifier. We're trying to get this to 296. Blah blah blah. Contain water. Blah 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 blah. Just making sure I don't say nothing about coconut on it. 296. 296 is what we're looking for. Because I'm at 281, 284, 293, 295. Oh, shit. That was too much. I don't know how we got to too much, but we did. What were we trying to get to? 296, I think. So we're at 294. Just, this is where we were last time. 295. 296. Oh, that's perfect. Well, mostly perfect. Off by like 0. 0.2. Okay, this is the emulsifying wax. I'm just going to put this over here because I feel like some things 
will melt from sitting in the stove, so I don't want that. Okay, got the water and the glycerin and the mango and mm -hmm, the emulsifying wax. And let me move this water because it's super cold. And then the last thing we need for the very end is the preservative eco stuff, which is our preservative here. So, so, I didn't find all of her stuff, but I tried to see what was in my regular lotion to see, to hope rather, you know, that it was safe enough for me to use. So, I hope so. And we need three grams of this. What in the world? Some little cup thing on the inside. I can't get off. All right. Three grams of this fun stuff. I'm just going to move out all the stuff out of my way that I used already. So, use the glycerin so move this further from me. I don't need this. And this. And this is trash. And then this is the little mango scent. If I get to use it, not that I did. Okay, but okay. Three grams. So I'm going to use another little small container. Let's be really careful. So let's drop more. We're gonna stop there. This should be everything that we need. So now, we have all of our stuff here, which is the water, the glycerin, the emulsifying wax, the preservative, and the shea butter. So, water phase is supposed to be the glycerin in this. The oil phase is the shea butter. It's these two. This we just did, this cannot go until the very end. So I'm gonna put this further away from me too, so hopefully I can remember that and I don't get it confused with the glycerin. So, blah, 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 blah. And these two melt together. These. Am I using the right one? Ugh. I'm not, because I used a really big one. Or was it this one? Definitely not that one. <laughs> Maybe it was this one? Right? Yeah, I think I used that one. So I'm going to put this in here. And it's a little bit of this. I don't get how it's coming out. Serious. Like, this is the glycerin. Yeah, where is that spoon I used? Yeah, it's such a little spit drop. How's it even gonna come out the jar? Someone. Ain't no way. How it's gonna come out? How is it gonna come out? Just 
a spit drop more. Just like a really. Okay. So we want that to heat up a little bit, and then we'll do these two. Which I'm gonna. Okay, so let's get a little closer here. And essentially, I'm just letting it get warm. And blah, blah, blah. Once they're both melted, then whisk them. Just a couple more seconds. I'm gonna take this off and put it into this container, and then I'm gonna do the emulsifying wax and the mango butter together in this container. And then I more than likely will blend everybody in this container too. Move this bowl out my way. I don't think I need it extremely hot. You see? Pour this back into that bowl. We tried to move fast because they technically should have been done at the same time, but I, I don't have a container like that. Put the emulsifying wax in there. And the mango butter in there. And get the See, this is going to take a while to melt, so I'm going to um, probably put the water back on a little bit if it feels too cold. So I'm going to let that sit there for a little bit and just keep stirring it. There's a little leftover droplets from here. Then I'm going to move this container out of my space. just a little 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 bit but I don't want it to be high because I think last time I did it on high and yeah, maybe I shouldn't have all right so yeah I have nothing to do but just wait for this to melt Yes, thank you, Tina. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, I do need to increase my wax time. I finally have a thousand out thousand hours, a thousand subscribers, and now I have to make this four thousand watch hours, which is like very hard to do. All right, this is almost, almost melted. But we're trying to make lotion, Tina. We tried before, and it was okay. And I did try it. I just felt like I couldn't mix the water with the butter as much as I wanted to. And that really bothered me because it changed the texture and it changed, um, it just made it too thick for me. Because I'm not a fan of body butters. So, 
Okay, that looks like it's pretty much done. I'm gonna plug up the blender, so I'm gonna try this attachment this time. This is the one everybody says to use, which I would like to use, but last time we did not have enough, we just didn't have enough product to do it with because it kept getting stuck on the blades. So I hope that I can do it this time, and if I cannot do it, then I will know successfully that Holy Lisa lied to me. But I hope she didn't lie. <laughs> So she definitely used it in hers. All right, so this is pretty much done. I'm going to pour it in here. Because it's so hot. It's like transferring it though, is, uh, definitely has to take away from it itself. not that hot anymore. I'm gonna like it to heat up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna move everything to this bowl because I feel like Hopefully it's, it should work. Should be pretty perfect size. Yeah. So you want these to be sort of the same temperature, which is why I'm trying to make this a little warm again. All right, let me read her recipe one more time because I think now we should be able to just mix them together and blend them. So let's see. Let's come over here. Let's see. Um, blah, 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 once they do that, okay, hold on, okay, I'm gonna pour this in here, looks like this is already solidifying, oh, do you guys see the color, it looks so great, because it looks white, like it's supposed to, Hold on. Okay, now can you see? Get the light is being a jerk. I need to get this out. I'm supposed to whisk it together. Guys, don't laugh at my whisk, okay? <laughs> because my sister gave me this whisk so long ago, and the little top part is not on it, and it should be. But I just discovered that it's not on it. Alright, so let's get that together. That's what Holy Lee said to do. And I don't know if I can get any more of this because it hardened out of there or not. gentlemen this was supposed to be the final part where we just blend our little hearts out let's hope it works out the color is perfect so that's very exciting because we definitely didn't have that color last time like i said but i think it's because of the because we didn't have an emulsifier in there so you could definitely see how they blended right away so that's exciting and then Trying to get the camera best I can. Unfortunately, it doesn't look that bright on you all. But okay. Whisk it together. And then use the immersion blender. Blending cool. Blending cool. And it's supposed to pour. Okay. Everybody pray that it works out. Now. Put this in here. And this is the
supposed to touch the bottom? I never use it. <laughs> It's definitely getting thicker. I don't know if you all can see, but I can see. Oh, hold on, it's making me hot. Everything's making me hot. Now let me turn the stove on, because I am going to forget. Okay. Yeah, do you see how it just is thicker already? Okay. Oh, it does look like lotion. Wait, did I have to turn the light off last time? I feel like, because y'all weren't seeing the texture. Can you see it? Okay, I'm gonna keep blending. I don't know if this thing will, I don't know. I'm just nervous because it touches the bottom as much as it does. But do you see it, y'all? It's so exciting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. Even though know, only God knows that I don't know what I'm doing. really good to me um i'm gonna blend it for a few more minutes just to be you know extra extra sure <sighs> Hold on. but yes i don't know if you guys can see it a little bit are you using shea butter or avocado butter this time i am okay yes this time i'm doing mango butter last time i used shea so i just went to try mango butter So hopefully, but guys, look, it totally looks so good. It looks so like I want it to look like lotion and not like a uh, butter. Um, I need to get a spatula thing real quick. Just to kind of get everybody back to the middle, even though the thing is kind of small, so it's not that far from the middle, but. but. Let's just, you know, scoop people back in there. Oh, yeah. See, Tina maybe could have helped me last time. Because last time, I it was my first try. I really didn't know what I was doing. Guys, it looks so good. <laughs> and you guys can't see it, but it looks really great. And I'm so excited. Just so excited. And it's white, like real lotion. Alright, I'm gonna mix it just a little bit longer and then yeah, I'm gonna call it quits and put it into a jar.
everybody else. Now this was supposed to, I'm gonna try to do it for like three more minutes, but it was supposed to be her mixture for, um, for face lotion. So, her guys should be pretty safe with face lotion. But y'all, who knows? My body and skin does literally whatever it feels like doing whenever it feels like doing it. I'm so hot. See if I can do this for two more minutes and I'm gonna stop. Cause it really does look stinking amazing. Just <laughs> amazing. And then yeah, I'm just gonna do it for two more minutes. I'm trying to wait until 15. because I feel like you all get better light over there. And, yeah. Whew. That was a <laughs> It was. I was waiting for 15. You guys, but it looks amazing. Before I forget, because I did definitely almost forget, we do have to put the preservative in there. But it looks absolutely great. And you can just tell the difference between... I'm actually going to move it back because it's making me nervous that the stove is still warm. But you can totally tell the difference between using the emulsifying wax and not using it. Because you can see how it has the color alone. Let you know that the water actually blended. I'm so excited. All right. So let me just... Uh, All of that in there you know and then try to get that off the best I can so Tina do you use this this blender you said it seems weird because it's like how is it blending everything when it seems like stuff gets stuck under it and then it's not covering everybody you know because it has like this little cup part to it come on this is the last piece that won't come out okay now i'm not sure if she blended the preservative in so let me just read that again 
and see did she blend it or did she just use her little thingy thing so i can't remember so measure it now when you're happy with it then you can go to the cool down phase excuse me measure out your stuff mix stop mix till thoroughly okay i don't know she just says mix it that's all she says but there you go that's the preservative I remember her putting it, I remember her mixing it in with her little spatula, but I cannot remember if she goes back to blending it. So I'm actually about to put the video on so I can see. Oh, but this is so exciting. I feel like that was a lot and I feel like, uh, yeah, she had to. this one more time down to blend it one more time and then we should be done i really do want to put some scented oil in it but definitely don't want to try it on my first one so maybe i'll take just a little 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 bit apart and put some oil in it um because i would love for it to smell like mango oil but i'm definitely not gonna play that game <laughs> with all of it because if something does go wrong or I do have a breakout or allergic reaction, then I need to be able to tell who did it. And so that's one of the reasons why I didn't add like the aloe and the green tea and all of that fun stuff. Because I don't want too many things to where I can't tell who is the culprit or what is the reason. So yes. Just one more time, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure the preservative was in. They're good because I could instantly tell how the texture changed once the preservative got in there. So just trying to make sure it's all mixed in. <clears throat> and then we will put it in a jar.
Just getting myself together, y'all, because I was hot. I am hot. Probably because I'm nervous, because I just wanted to work out. <laughs> you know? All right, so we have this. And, yes, it worked out really, really good. A regular blender. Okay. Yeah, I never used this before either. But everybody that makes lotions and butters always show this one. And then uh, my sister, Shays of Sage, recommended this one to go back and try this one. It's just like I said, it, stuff gets stuck under there. So it's like if you don't have enough product. So if you're making a big batch of something, yes. But if you're making a little batch, which is what I did the first time because I just wasn't sure then I couldn't use this because it wasn't even enough to do that. Okay. I'm gonna plug that. But yes, y'all, it looks so stinking good just perfect the lights be messing it up so I was gonna put it into a pump bottle with the lotion but they're not dry yet so I'm not gonna put it in there yet so maybe if they dry later on I will <clears throat> I don't even know if I have a mason jar available I feel like I've been using them. So let me check my cabinets. And I need a stool. A stool so I can reach. Because if I have one, it's got to be a top. See, I need a chair. us all and I don't even have a empty mason jar Woo! I don't even have an empty mason jar so what I will do is if I put it in the mason jar or the pump then I'll let you know but yes Kyra, it does look so smooth. I didn't take, I didn't taste it. I didn't feel it yet, but it looks great. Mm. And I'm just going to. Where's that spoon that I was using? Cause maybe it will let me feel it. Or did I do something with the spoon? Nah, I can't use that one. But, just going to scoop out a little bit so to try it. So here it is. Doesn't look so nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just going to take a little bit here. Shouldn't need that much. <clears throat> I 
and you can try it and see. This is what it's looking like. I got myself so hot, y'all. All right. Oh, it feels amazing! It totally feels like a lotion. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it feels so great. It feels really good. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to put some in something. Either a mason jar if I find one. Or the jar. Whatever it's called. The lotion jar. And then, if I remember, then I'll try to make a short for it. But let's see. It feels really good. Really, really smooth. Like you guys can see, I don't know. But, <laughs> but it feels great. It feels really smooth. I'm so hot now from like, I don't know. I don't know from mixing it. I don't know. So far, it seems like it worked out. So yes, when I put it into something, hopefully I'll remember and I'll come back and I will, look at that. I will come back and maybe do a short or something so you can see. But that's what we have so far. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully it works out and I'm not allergic to anything. But I think the emulsifier made such a huge difference with mixing it. I'm sorry I'm so hot, guys. I just don't even know why, really. But yes, that's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in, for hanging out. People like Tina who are at work doing something else. But it's helping me get my watch time hours up because I have to. It shouldn't smell like anything, but it doesn't. But yes, y'all, thank you. And until next time, don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until next time, adios.